Right, here we go. Quick whiz through on Star Tools. Going to share the screen first. So, boom, boom, we open up Star Tools. Won't get far without that. This is just my normal quick whiz through while I'm having a cup of tea before the day starts. Um, I found a couple of two panel mosaics. This one's in um, of California Nebula, Nebula. <coughs> but I it was shot using um, L Enhance bicolor filter. So first thing, open it. Ooh, not much going on there. Uh, straight into auto dev. It's not a permanent stretch, it's just uh, to see what we got. You can see my camera and the stacking usually means I have to crop quite a way. I usually allow about half an inch, a centimetre all the way around, believe it or not. We'll keep that for a sec. Go into bin, 70%. Always do that. Takes a few secs. My next plan is, to, as I say, is to go into the crop. Don't be shy. There's plenty of room in there. It makes a big difference when you get into the white module um, next. Makes it a lot easier, a lot tidier rather. Hit the wipe. I normally go dark filter up to about three. Leave everything else to its defaults. I use flats and calibration frames, so I don't need to worry. Well, I'm not going to worry about all that rubbish. Hit the color. Just have a look, see what we've got. Typical bicolor, isn't it? Red and blue, oxygen, well, something like that. <laughs> don't get technical. Uh, we'll keep that. Doesn't look too bad, does it? There's something going to happen here. Keep it. Now we go back into the auto stretch with that image in my mind's eye. Auto stretch, auto dev. Let's get it right. Redo the global stretch. So now we're back in monochrome mode. Have a look at the image. Decide where we've got a real nice region of interest. As I say, you can spend quite a while in here getting it right. I always ignore fine detail, go up a bit. What I'm trying to do is to get all the nebulosity ba -boom, looking nice in the background. A balance is a trade off between, ooh, that looks interesting there, between um, our, our subject and The background, if it's if it's washed out a bit like this is here, this anomaly here. But if you can push the outside region of influence up, it'll lighten it. But I'm interested to see what what happens if I just place it there. Worse, I guessed it might be expanding this area here, which must be some sort of vignetting by the looks of it. So I'm going to cancel out of this and hit undo. So that will that will get rid of the um, stretch. Go back of uh, the wipe. Go back into wipe, and this time we'll hit the vignette tool see if that assists me in my um, what was going to be 15 minute workout is probably going to be a bit longer now <laughs> but hey it won't be much longer if you excuse me while I slurp some tea ooh that's interesting 
still got it. So that's not not the it's not a, it's not that. Okay, it's cancel and come back in. Looks like I've I'm going to be stuck with that. It could be something in the um, I'll push that up four. It should it could be something in one of the um, the light frames that I didn't spot. Is it me or is it getting worse? It's worse now than it was when I first started. I go back into my crop. Take another chunk. Keep. Unless I've done the wipe twice without realising it. Well, warts and all this video, isn't it? Yeah, I've got a hunch that I've gone into it twice. So we're going to open it again. Go back to square one for now. Only takes a sec anyway. Yes, middle, one shot colour. We know there's some anomalies. Going to bin it to 70. Keep. Go into crop. Give it a... A juicy crop. I didn't do an auto dev this time, but hey ho. Keep. We know where they are. Go into wipe. As I say, three pixels usually suits me. Colour. Oh, back to somewhere where it is, but you can see it's lousy data that I'm. Look, initially it looked really smart, but as I've gone on, let's pick that area as a region of interest. No, it's not going to solve the issue. Up that, let's grab that area. So say I'm trying to keep the dark bit really at the keep the background nice and I was going to say spacey then I'll keep it for now contrast let that do its do its um, thing. I'll keep that. What you can do when you when you've just done your first your main auto dead stretch is go straight into the color module and just have a quick look at what you're going to get and if it looks terrible you can go go back and undo and change the, change the wipe module again if i get a decent image out of this i'll be amazed well, not really. It's going to be hard work. That was HDR. I'm just plowing through. Go back to the sharp. Choose a star mask or an auto an auto geno one. Generation even. I'll use the um, the max star one at the end. But you can choose conservative if you've got lots of big stars. Slurping away here, excuse me. This doesn't usually take this long. Thing to, to bear in mind is when you do this, you've got the before and after button up here. Just click it. I'm not worried about the subject too much because I know I'm not going to win an APOD with the data that I've used before after it's brightened a lot of it but i'm more concerned with the stars i'm just keeping an eye on them make sure they don't develop any any nasties this i'm not going to do a decon at the moment i think i might come back to it later normally you've got an option you can do it now i'll do it but i'm i'm 
going to go straight into the color module, fill the mask. And uh, very interesting. I'll hit the mask key, auto, stars, do. There's a reason for this. I'm trying to establish a white balance because it does look really intense just to balance the colors off. So we're going to white balance to the stars. Should take a sec. Keep that. Then hit sample. Back into the mask. Clear. Invert. Keep. Now let it get a nice balanced image. Interesting. Well, oh, looks like California Nebula to me. Next, I'm going to hit the by color because I was a by color image. I, you could keep this and tone it down, but I, there's some presets in here that the developers have done. Knocks it back, but you can bring it, adjust it to your own personal preference by just up in the saturation amount. If you want, you can play, you can spend hours in here. I tend to knock the dark saturation down. Looks interesting. I don't know what we're going to do about this at the bottom, but hey ho. We'll have a think about that. If it's perfect, everybody always whinges. Yeah, well, every time demo I see of Star Tools, they're using perfect data. Quite like that. Normally, I'd go into the Max RGB and I can look at the overall color structure, pixel structure of colors. And if I want to reduce, I can do it on the end here. Tone the green down. But to me, I got, pff, doesn't, doesn't look too bad. It's red over there, but I'm going to sort that out later. Yeah, we'll keep that one. <laughs> Do we want to shrink the stars? Well, I'll go through it. Oh, but I'm going to hit a, a generous one. St Auto star mask. Da, da, da. Use this a lot to protect the stars as you're going through the process. So normally do do that well, very often do the deconvolution as part part of the sequence. Got before and after. Let's just tighten it. I've got it on Titan. If you find it's too much, alter the iterations, just knock it down and it'll gradually bring them back. Gosh, I've got lovely data here, haven't we? I'm going to keep that actually. It looks too bad. Entropy. Just go into that. See if, we, see if we can get any result. It usually tightens things up. Yeah, you know, just tweaked it a bit. Yeah, kind of. Why not go with that? Now our next fun. thing is the uh, interesting I'm going to try to make a mask need to clear that and I'm going to take similar color see if I can pick up as much of this 
nebulosity as I can. My, ooh, that was a good one. Very, ooh, watch it. Undo at the top there. So, okay, we can grow this into a sensibly sized blob. Be nice if I could get some of these areas. I think the colour might be dodgy, but I could go bright and similar brightness. No, it's not picking it up. That's a shame. Try the colour again. Ah, no, it's gone for the whole lot. Fair enough. Well, the other option we've got is single pixel on. Oh, wrong one. Careful. Freehold. And we can wiggle all this around. Try this way. You can spend hours messing about with masks. But I think I'll, the other option we've got is our lasso tool. So if I go back down so I can see most of it. We'll fizz around the outline. Bear in mind this is a, a pre breakfast um, whiz through. That's not too bad. Uh, similar colour. You can have great fun in the mask, but they are key to any processing, whichever one you're using. Right up here we've got grow, so we're going to grow that. That will fill all that in. One little more. I'm not worried about that little bit. We'll keep that. So we've got a mask that's covering all that. Now go into the superstructure. And we're going to keep the mask as is for a minute. Just to see if we can tight if it will tighten our horrible doodah. Which it doesn't, but the secret is I think to press the isolate button. Ooh. Interesting. Almost. Sometimes the modified camera. No. Just going to save this mask for a sec and then clear it, invert it, and this time we can do the opposite to what we did before. Well, do. Sorry, I got the wrong. I just want to grab the lasso for a sec. Grow that. Very good. Go back to my mask. Almost need to add a bit of mask fuzz in here. Keep that for a sec. Mm. 
go back into the mask, invert it, keep it, perhaps try in the filter module, we'll try a reject first, just click where the mask is, ooh, we just need to increase the mask, revert, fuzz, Back it up, see what if you just need to change the mask, make it a bit bigger, I think. Mask. Go back out. We're on the last lasso. Lasso. Just extend the um this area here a bit. Keep and try another bit of reject. Just change the filter width to get it undo. Just revert, that was a bit too strong. Ooh, to take the mask fuzz down. Ooh, that is close. Ooh. Very close. I need to, to try it. Go back. Take that down a bit. Mm, not subtle enough, is it? If Ivo's watching this, he's going, no, do this, do this. <laughs> You're using the wrong one. You need to do so and so. Almost, almost just not quite subtle enough. You've got the reject and then you've got the pass. Oops, wrong one. Choose to try the pass. But that won't do it. It's got to be a reject job. Different modes that you can play with. Ooh, that's interesting. There's loads of visual alpha in there. Anyway, this isn't doing much for my cup of tea, is it? How can I just change the percentage of of that? Filter width pushes it up. Almost, almost. I think I'll undo. Push it up a bit more. Oh, what? We're almost there. Almost blended in really nicely. Let's go back down a bit, undo. Maybe I was getting a bit too excited there. I think it's, so that's on six. Let's go down to four. Yeah, well, I'm going to stick at four for now. Keep that. It's tidied it up a little bit. Go into the mask. Invert. Keep. Go back into superstructure. See what happens. Keep the mask for now. Flapping around like a fish in out of water here. Fingers crossed. Tightened it up a bit. Almost. <clears throat> the 
I'm pretty we isolate it and then take the strength down to perhaps Trevor Jones, which is a sixty six percent. So at least we've rescued there you go the image quite nicely. And we've got a Carol, what's it called? California Nebula. Perhaps now I go into Decon. Auto generate star mask. This takes a few secs to sort itself out. And again, the same with the um, shrink stars. If it's keep an eye on your stars, you know, use the mouse wheel and zoom in and zoom out. And if it, if you start get um, dark lines around your stars or anything like that, just simply reduce the number of iterations and it will tidy them up. Otherwise, when you you won't notice it until you get to noise reduction and all of a sudden your whole load of stars will have little black lines around, but I seem to be fortunate here. It's not too bad. So that's that bit. Now I think well, it was garbage. Um, data as you saw, so I'm going to go into track, yes, uh, noise reduction, I don't know why, just lately I've been, whatever it suggests, I've doubled it, it's, it's, I think it's more reflective of the data that I'm playing with than and my cam, your setup, everyone's setup's different, and after a while you get a feel for it, um, what suits your particular camera and the big netting or whatever the anomalies that are creeping in to your particular setup and rig. I don't usually touch any of these other sliders. Maybe because I, I'm not 100% sure what I should be doing with them, but equally I'm not um, The data I'm always using is never that good, but you can see that it's tidied it up quite nicely. Maybe that decon shouldn't have didn't want necessary looking at the some of the individual stars. So bear that in mind. I'm going to keep that. Now I'm going to go back into the superstructure with a full mask. See if that balances it up nicely. Might need to go to a 66 Trevor Jones before, after. I think I will go to a 66. So that was with mediocre, actually pretty, pretty crummy data. Um, yeah, what the heck? I'm going to keep that. We can always go in, do a bit of it, see if HDR. Sometimes you can before. I think that's teased out quite a bit of information there, made it quite nice. Yep, I'm going to save that. And my normal method is to call it st underscore final underscore 01 dot tiff. Don't forget the dot tiff, otherwise it won't save. And Yeah, I could, I mean, quite easily 
go into Photoshop or whatever and play about with it and tidy up. Very often I'll do that. Put it in Topaz, Denoise. Um, sometimes I'll go into film development and increase the gamma. See if I can tease out a little bit of extra just to go up incrementally a couple of times. See if you can lighten lighten a few bits up. As I say, we're never going to win an A pod from it, but it's personal preference now. Not that one down. Keep it. We'll save that. Just thinking. That was a good see if the sh go into a quick sharpening. Just choose the middle diddle. Generous stars. Conservative stars, sorry. We haven't got a lot that many stars left, but it'd be nice to think I'll keep before after. We just sharpened it up, but be careful because it can look a bit contrast in false so yeah you guessed it not Trevor Jones I used to go 150 I'll go with that I say after noise reduction you can go into your it's looking a bit when I put stand up and I look at the screen at a different angle, it's starting to look a bit like that um, stretch. Film stretch was a bit too much. I'm going to go back, keep, go back down a bit. It's the trouble with the um, monitors. Right, we're going to save that again. Still as final 01. This time I put on underscore extra just to remind me that i've this is the one that i used for doing a few extra bods so there you go california nebula and glorious by color <laughs> awesome stuff stop my share hopefully this is recorded with a sensible volume Probably not know me. Good luck. <laughs>